Hello everyone, my name is Alvin Kilover Alandu, and recently I've been thinking of making a personal website. Nowadays, most of my information is scattered across various platforms, accounts, and websites and whatnot, so I wanted to centralize everything into a single site owned by me. Now, a couple days ago, I bought my last name, Arlandu.com, and so in this video, I plan to make a simple, easy, personal website with HTML and CSS deployed on GitHub pages and Google domains, all in 15 minutes during school hours. But first, we need to get to school. So school ended at 4 p.m. and I'm staying after till past like 9 for varsity math team. And so now I'm at Newton Commons near the computer science lab and hopefully we can get this entire website done in under 15 minutes. So let's do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up VS Code um, and just open up a folder I've made. Uh, it's just blank. And here I'm also going to open up my GitHub and Chrome um, and just create a new repository as one normally does you know, when you're creating a website, you need to code this. So I'll just call this personal website, make it private, add like a readme, just make this repository. All right, so now I'll copy this here and just git clone that. Um, then I'll just cd into this clone repository and start up a live server. So what a live server does is whenever I make changes to this code base, it'll automatically uh, refresh um, the files that it's that's serving, so we don't need to restart the server every time. Uh, so let's first uh, create an index.html, um, and I'll just you know add a head. Then here I'll just add my name under the title. In the body tag, I'm going to create a div. I'll call this hero. So hero will essentially um, allow me to center this card div. Um, and in this card div, I'm just going to write my name for now. Um, and so hopefully when we go here and refresh, we can see that this updates. And let's say I delete the U from my last name. We can see when I go back, it automatically refreshes without me having to, you know, restart the server. And that's kind of the beauty of live server. And it helps me to, you know, develop really quickly. <clears throat> okay. So um, next I'm going to add an image. So I have an image of myself uh, here. So I'm going to go move this down here. Um, I'll rename this to PFP. Uh, let's also link, uh, I'll call, make this icon uh, type image x icon, um, and then each ref is PFP.png. So this will give me the icon in the, in the tab, hopefully. Um, and then here I will also pass this as my uh, PFP. And so I'll make a class of probably for this PFP. Uh, so let's see. So we can see that this, the, I, the fab account right here uh, updated. Uh, so that's all good. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add in some links. And so I'll make a div. I'll give it the class links. And then here I'll make link with href, I'll just call this email. Uh, and then from here, what I'll do is I'll essentially paste this a bunch of times. Uh, we'll do a github, we'll do a LinkedIn, uh, and we'll do, what else should we do? Let's just do my YouTube. Yeah. All right. Cool. So for this, I should just be able to mail to my email address. Uh, I know my GitHub and LinkedIn off the top of my head. Should that for GitHub. Uh, and I think LinkedIn is something like a name with hyphens. Uh, YouTube, I do not. Oh, okay. YouTube, I can just copy from, from that. Thanks, Google. Um, and so I'm just going to go down here and check that these links work. So if I mail to, we get this email here, so that's great. If I open my GitHub, 
that works. If I open my LinkedIn, my LinkedIn does not work. I uh, I think I just misspelled LinkedIn. Uh, so if I open up YouTube and open up LinkedIn, YouTube works. LinkedIn works. So yeah, we should have this. We should have these links here. Um, all right, and, and now we just have to basically style all of this. So to style all of this, what I'm going to to style all of this, what I'm going to do. Sorry, to style all of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an href uh, to main.css um, and the relationship. I'll give this uh, style style sheet. All right. I'll make a main.css, and in this main.css, I'm just going to first remove the margin padding from all elements, um, and then I'll set the font family to the default here. I like this one usually. Um, what else should I do? I'll set overflow uh, none, I believe. Um, Maybe I'll do overflow hidden is what I'm not doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then here in my root, I'm going to just create a variable. Um, and this will just be like the main color that I'm using to style with the background and the links and stuff. Um, and so from here, I can just set the background color of the body to this variable. Um, and I will also style this PFP. It's super big right now, so I'll make um, it a rounded PFP with this border radius. And I'll set the border radius to four, which is like half of this. So it'll make it like a circle. Uh, we can see it does it like that, which is good. Um, up here in hard, uh, what I'll do is I'll set background color to white. Um, and I'll also set the border radius to 0.5 rem. Okay, cool. So I'm going to set text align to center in the card so we can move everything to the center. Um, and I will also go up to the hero and make this a flex box so we can actually center the card. Um, and so to do this, I'll set align item center, just by context center. Uh, this will be right here if I set the height to the whole thing. And here, see, we now have the card in the center, so that's that's all good. Um, I'm also just going to add a pad for RAM uh, to give it some padding. Uh, in the PFP, I'll give it margin on RAM. So that's, that's fine. Um, let's see here. So let's style the links now, shall we? So for the links, um, the links I'm also going to make. Actually, for the links, yeah. Oh, let's do this. For the links, let's first just remove the text decoration, um, and then we can set the color to the main color thing that we made earlier, and we can also set the margin to like that. Anything in there. Oops. All right, so that worked. Um, I'll set margin top. Margin top. I'll just set this. the size of the part that says my name. So I'll just make this like 175. Yeah. And then in the entire card, I'll give the outsides a bit more. And so this looks fairly good to me. 
So now just for a little bit of polish, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have these links be a little, a little more interactive. So I'm going to just make them you know, appear, uh, increase in opacity when you hover on them. So I'll just add this transition, ease it out, and then on hover, I'll just change the opacity from 75% to 100%. So now when I hover, you can see that, that happening here. Uh, also, this color is a little bit bright, so I think what I'll do is just pick a color for my shirt and then go up to this and just change that. Just change it like that. Um, and so that looks pretty good. Um, so now we just need to deploy all of this. So to deploy this, what we're going to need to do is first set up GitHub Pages. So GitHub Pages is uh, good. It's an easy way to serve static sites. Um, and so we can just set this branch to main, and now it will just serve whatever files are main. Uh, but to do that, we first need to push what we have. So I'm going to run git add a, uh, git commit dash m, uh, and then some methods, let me just say init. Um, and then I'll push that. And now if we go here, uh, just wait a little bit. Let's see if the commit came in. Yeah, the commit did come in, so it should be a little bit, and this will update. So yeah, ready to be published, it should say it's going to be published. In the meantime, while we're waiting for this, what I'll basically set up um, is set up the Google domain. So a couple of days ago, I bought my last name. Yeah, unfortunately for my sister, I don't think she'll be use, able to use my last name, so I don't know. I just felt like doing it because Alvin or Alondu is kind of long. Anyway, so I, let's go here. Uh, we're essentially going to need to change the DNS of this uh, in order that it not only publishes to this link. So like, let's go here. So you can see here at this uh, GitHub domain, we essentially have the website being served. And that's all well and good, but you know, having your last name as a domain is kind of nice. So you can set that up. And in order to do that, we can just follow GitHub Pages' guide. So GitHub Pages custom domain. Um, uh, school Wi-Fi is great. Uh, let's go to managing domains. There should be like some IPs. Oh yeah, right here. So essentially what we're going to need to do is create an A record. Um, and with this A record, we're going to paste all these IPs and that will essentially allow a Rolandi.com to be able to use the GitHub pages server. So let's first copy these and just paste all of that uh, in here. I'll also create a CNAME record. Uh, we need this. Uh, and he, I'm going to type, like, basically this part of my GitHub pages. So like that. I'm going to save this. Next, I'm going to go to GitHub pages. Um, and I'm going to type in erlon.com. Hit save. And so here it's going to do some checks, basically, so that everything is being set up right. Uh, but if it is, and looks like it is, you can see that our Rolandu.com is now uh, now is able to use all these files that are in that uh, that are being served with GitHub Pages. So we did everything successfully. I'm not totally sure if that made it in time. I hope it did. I wasn't really paying attention, but when I edit this video, we'll see. All right. So after checking the timer, it turns out I both developed and deployed the entire site in around 12 and a half minutes, which is pretty good in my book. Now, like I said, this is a very simple website and I do hope to update it with more content in the future. But if you do have any questions or something broke or didn't work or whatnot, be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll try to assist you as best I can. Overall, I just hope that you learned something and personally, I'm looking forward to feedback on the new video style. But anyways, I'll see you in the next one.